Hi everyone and welcome. My name is Brittany. I'll be guiding you through a 30 minute vinyasa flow today. You don't need any equipment other than your mat. Today we'll get started on our backs. So bend your knees, soles of the feet on the ground, and then slowly roll all the way back. Place one hand on your heart and one hand on your chest. And then knees come together to support one another. Close your eyes. And start to tune inward. Noticing your breath. We breathe a lot throughout the day, but we often take very short breaths, never really filling the full lung capacity. So begin to lengthen your inhalations and exhalations. Feel your belly rise and fall. Feel the ground underneath your feet. Slowly breathe in. Breathe out. And begin to tune into your thoughts. Simply observe them, see where they're going. Know that bringing your attention back to your breath can stop some of those thoughts if you choose to. A couple more moments here to deepen your breath. stretch. Lengthen out the spine and then bring your knees to your chest. Hug them in and begin to make little circles, massaging out the low back. And then switch directions. And come to center. Open your arms to a T, palms down. Breathe in, suck your belly in. Breathe out, keep the belly sucked in and lower your knees over towards the right side. Eye gaze can be towards the left hand. Take a moment here to breathe into the left side body. A gentle twist. Press into your hands. Breathe in, take your knees to your center. Breathe out, lower them over towards your left side. Eye gates can be towards the right hand. Any stretch in your neck. Breathe into the right side body. Settle into your mat. With every exhale, see if you can ground down. center. Take your hands behind your thighs and begin to rock forward and back. Massaging out your spine. And then find your center of gravity somewhere in between. Hands stay behind your thighs. Breathe in, lengthen, lower your belly, your legs. Exhale, crunch in. Breathe in, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Option to take your arms out in front of you. Breathe in. Breathe out, knees to chest. One more time. Breathe in, lengthen. Exhale, crunch in. Take your hands down below your shoulders, feet down. And press your chest, belly, and hips up towards the sky for reverse tabletop. Breathe in, and then breathe out, lower down, and then flip around to a regular tabletop. 
hands below shoulders, knees below hips. Breathe in, lower your belly, chest forward for cow. Exhale, round your spine, chin to chest, look for your thighs for cat. Breathe in, shoulder blades roll back, head comes forward. Exhale, round your spine, press into your hands, chin to chest. Now go through those movements on your own, with your own breath, warming up the spine. Take any extra movements you might need to get any of the cobwebs out. You wave, wave your hips side to side and relax any tension in your neck when you go into cat. A couple more rounds here. When we come to a neutral tabletop position, Extend your right hand out like you're going to shake someone's hand. And then lift your left heel off the ground. Straighten your left leg like you're kicking the back of the wall. Breathe in, extend, arc up. Exhale, round your spine. Cross the center line of your body, knee to elbow. Breathe in, extend. Exhale, crunch in. Breathe in, lengthen. Exhale, draw it together. One more time, breathe in, stretch, exhale, crunch in. Bring your right hand down, left knee down. Extend your left hand forward, right knee back. Right heel's punching the back wall, stamping the back wall, left hand is reaching forward. Breathe in, arch up. Exhale, round your spine, knee to elbow. Breathe in, lengthen, exhale, crunch. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow. One more time, breathe in, lengthen. Exhale, crunch in. Lower your left hand down. Puff your toes, cover your knees. Breathe in. Breathe in, tuck your belly in. Breathe in. Breathe out, hips up and back for downward facing dog. Can you pedal out the feet here? Bend at your knees. Belly button is drawn in. Fingers are nice and wide. Ideally spacing between each and every finger. And let your head fall heavy. Relax any tension in your neck. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, shift forward to a high plank. Option to lower your knees down. And then slowly bend at your elbows. Elbows hug the ribcage, lower all the way down to your mat. Forehead down. Hands are placed underneath the shoulders, tops of the feet down on the ground. Breathe in, peel your chest up, look forward for cobra. Shoulder blades down and back. Exhale, lower. Breathe in, come back up, chest up, shoulder blades down. See if you can lift your hands off the mat. So you're just using your back right now to lift your chest up. And then lower. Take your hands to the bottom of your rib cage. Breathe in, straighten your arms, thighs lift off the mat. I gaze forward for upward facing dog. Exhale, hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Take a couple breaths here. Then bend at your knees. Breathe in, look forward to the top of the mat. On your exhale, step or hop in between your hands. Feet are hip distance apart. Breathe in, lengthen your spine halfway. Crown of the head is reaching forward. Exhale, forward fold. Grab for opposite elbows here. Take a rag on pose. Grip all four corners of the feet to the mat. Draw your belly in. And release 
release your hands down. And sweep your arms up overhead, straighten, standing. Exhale, open arm twist towards the right. Breathe in, sweep right hand up. Exhale, open arm twist towards the left. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Step your left foot back to a high lunge. Check your foundation. Ensure that your knee is not going past your toes. Press it to the left foot. Breathe in, lift your arms up towards the sky for crescent lunge. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, and breathe out. Draw your belly in. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, bend it in your knee, and tap the ground, pull close your arms. Inhale, straighten your legs, reach back up. Exhale, bend your elbows, tap your knee down. One more time, inhale, reach up. And exhale, tap back down. Pause here, top of the left foot comes down. Sink into your right hip, arms up overhead. Reach for your left wrist, breathe in and breathe out. Bend over towards your right side, getting a stretch in your legs, left side back. Breathe in, come up through center. Take your left hand down for a simple twist. So right hand reaches up towards the sky, belly button's tucked in, eye gaze can be up towards the right hand. Breathe in, and breathe out, bring your right hand down to the mat. Step your right foot back to meet the left. High uh, upper push up, high plank. Lower your knees down. Exhale, lower all the way. Inhale, up for cobra. Tuck your toes. Press yourself back for upper facing dog. Bend your knees, look to the top of your mat. Step or hop between your hands. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, swing arms up overhead. Exhale, bend at your knees. Sit back to chair pose. Reach your arms forward. Weight is in the heels. Breathe in. Breathe out. Open arm twist towards the right. Breathe in, come back through center. Open arm twist towards the left. Inhale, come forward. Pause here. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, pull over. Step your right foot back to a high lunge. Check your foundation here. Knees not going past the toes. Breathe in, rise up. Draw your belly button in. Shoulder blades are relaxed. Crown of the head reaches up towards the ceiling. Breathe in. Breathe out, bend your elbows, tap your knee down. Inhale, come back up, reach up. Exhale, hold, close your arms, open your chest, tap your knee. Breathe in, reach. Exhale, bend. One more time, inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend at your knee and your elbows, lower the knee down to the mat, top of the foot comes down. Arms are up, biceps by ears. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach for your right wrist. Pause here. Breathe in, lengthen. Exhale, bend over towards your left. Let's get a stretch in your right side body. Breathe in, come up your center. Take your right hand. Bring it down to the mat. Open arm twist towards the left. 
eye gaze can be up towards your left knee. You take your hand lower down to the mat. Step your left foot back. Come to high plank. Inhale, move forward. Exhale, lower halfway or all the way. Inhale, upward facing dog, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bring your big toes to touch. Breathe in. Sweep your right foot up to the sky. Three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. And then plant your right foot inside your hands. Left heel comes down. Breathe in, rise up for warrior one. So warrior one is just like crescent lunge, except the heel is down. So take your left hip. Move it forward so both hip bones are facing the front of your mat. Breathe in, arms up. And sink into that front knee. I feel like you want to work towards a 90 degree bend. Breathe in, stretch up. Exhale, open your arms to the horizon for warrior two. So you're facing your left side now. Hip bones are square towards the left. Relax your shoulders down. Eye gaze can be towards the right hand. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, reverse your warrior. Left hand draws down the left leg, right arm up and back. High five in the back wall. Exhale, extended side angle, forearm comes to your right thigh. Left hand can go straight up or up and over, or you can take a bind to open up your left shoulder. Now we're going to advance between those two movements. So our legs stay the way they are. We keep that bend in our front knee. Breathe in, reverse your warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. One more time. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Now pivot on your foot. Bring your left hand down and open up to a simple twist. Bring your right hand down. Step your right foot back. Press back to downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Bring your big toes to touch. Inhale, sweep your left foot up to the sky. Exhale, bend your knee. And bring your left foot inside your feet. Bring your right heel down. So you might need to take a wider stance here to do that. So right toes are pointing towards the right of the room. Make sure you can see your toes past your knee. Breathe in, reach up for warrior one. Take your right hip, line it with the left. So both hip bones are squared forward. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out, open your arms to the horizon for warrior two. Relax your shoulder blades down. Press through the pinky side edge of your right foot and look forward towards your left hand. Breathe in, breathe out, see if you can sink deeper. Breathe in, reverse your warrior, right hand slides, slides down the right leg, left hand up and over. So we're stretching through the left side of the body. Exhale, extended side angle. Forearm comes to the thigh. You need to any variation here with the arm. Feel yourself strengthening. Breathe in. Breathe out. We will dance between those poses. So keep your legs the way they are. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse. 
exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. One more time, inhale, reverse. This time, pivot on your back heel, lift it up. Come forward to press and lunge. And then bring your right hand down. Open arm twist. And then bring your left hand back down to the earth. Step your right foot back to knee the left. And press your hip up and back for downward facing dog. Bend at your knees. Floaters. Actually bring your knees down to the ground. Sink your hips back for child's pose. And then bring your feet to the side. Bring your booty to the ground. And open up your legs as wide as you can. Flex your feet towards you. Straighten up. Flex, straighten. Flex, lift your arms up towards the sky. Belly button draws in. Exhale, forward fold. Reach for the ground. Let your head fall heavy. Play with walking your hands forward a little bit more. And then take your left foot, bend your knee, stamp your left foot to the inside of your right thigh. Breathe in, reach up. Exhale, forward fold over to your right foot. And you can point and flex your foot. Inhale, reach up, and then switch. Straighten your left leg. Right foot comes to the inner thigh. Breathe in, extend up. Exhale, forward fold. So ideally, you want your chest over your knee. Your center. Take both legs out in front of you, bend your knees, and then slowly lay all the way back down. Bend your right knee, cross it over your left. Reach for the inside of the left thigh. Or recline with pigeon. Release down, press your hands into the mat alongside your body, feet down. Lift your hips up for bridge pose. You can interlace your fingers here. Let's open up your shoulders. And then exhale, release back down. Take your opposite foot, take your left foot, cross it over your right thigh. You can stay here, you can bring the right knee towards your chest. And reach for the thigh or the calf. So open up the left. And slowly come out of that. Bring your left foot back down. Press your hands into the mat and lift your hips back up to bridge. My gaze is down the center line of the body. Tuck your chin. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lower your hips down to the ground. Take your knees out wide. Reach for the inside and reach for the outside of your calves or the outsides of your feet for happy baby. Rock side to side. Shavasana. 
Take up as much space as you'd like. Relax your feet. Relax your thighs. Relax your belly. Be aware of your breath. Relax your fingers. Take these last final moments of class to be still before you go about your day. Thank you so much for flowing with me today. I hope to see you soon. Namaste.